at 11. Coverage you can count on. Right now at 11, a tribute to Maddie. Hundreds of students, athletes, and members of the community come together to honor a young life cut short. Plus, rebuilding together. Tonight, exactly one month after Hurricane Harvey made landfall in Texas, a truck full of supplies from southern New England arrives in Houston. First at 11, a story that's new tonight, an incredible show of love and support for a young life cut short. Maddie Potts was a senior at Cherahoe High School, a standout student and athlete. She died suddenly on Saturday after collapsing on the field during a soccer game. Doctors say she suffered from a brain aneurysm. And tonight, hundreds gathered together to honor Maddie's legacy. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian has the story now from Richmond with the South County Mobile Newsroom. Well, easily more than a thousand people gathered for this vigil to memorialize 17 year old Maddie Potts, known as a model student, an athlete, and an artist. The sign here at Charaho High School gets to the message of this vigil Maddie, in our hearts, always. One, two, three. Potts! Hundreds gather for number 11, Charaho High School senior Maddie Potts. Be strong for number 11. Be strong for my amazing co-captain, friend, sister, teammate, and fellow classmate. Holding candles and shedding tears, her teammates, classmates, and hundreds of other athletes, students, and community members from across the state gathered on the Charaho High School fields Monday night. It was the same spot where Maddie collapsed during a soccer match on Saturday. Her life cut tragically short. I implore all of you to hold your friends closer tonight. And to God I pray to bring light to her family in every possible way. Her mother spoke to the crowd Monday, telling those gathered to remember Maddie and to continue to pursue the activities and sports they love. Soccer did not take her life. An unexpected brain abnormality did. We should all be so lucky to die while participating in the activity that we have the most passion for. She left her soul on that 30 yard line. We can all be confident that she scored that last goal she was about to take. Just as she was being recruited to a higher level that needed her as their captain. And the flags here at Charaho High School have been lowered to half staff. The Rhode Island Interscholastic League is asking for students to observe a moment of silence before all high school games this week and to also wear Maddie's favorite color, blue. In Richmond, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.